Hey guys, what's up? Gray here and welcome to my first mono game project. This is a video that I've been waiting to do for a long time and I can finally get it started. So first I have got to check to see if I have mono game installed, which I've already checked honestly, and I'm pretty sure I don't. I can type mono game in it. Oh, what the heck? I can type mono game in it and yeah, it's just nowhere to be found. So, and it's, yeah, so just exit out here. First, you want to install Visual Studios. That's here. I can put the download link in the description. I use the community version, but you can also use the Pro, I believe. Professional. So we're doing this for Windows. Install Visual. Okay. Install Monogame Extension. To create new projects within Visual Studios, you'll need to install the Visual Studio 2019 extension, which can be found in Extensions, Manage Extensions, in the Visual Studios menu bar. So if you click continue that code and then you go to extensions, manage extensions, we can look for mono game. I don't know if it's that one specifically. Yeah. So download that. After we do that, we have to install the MGCB editor, which is a tool for editing the .mgcb files, which are used for building the content. To register the MCGB tool editor tool with the visual uh, run the following command prompt. Uh, There we go, it's successfully installed. So we can just exit out of that. All right, creating a project, create project, cross-platform OpenGL. Okay, so you wanna open this. Okay, there we go, modify. Then you let this update, and then it'll install the mono game. All right, and there you go, mono game is installed. Just gonna open up Visual Studios once more. And we should be able to hit create a new project right here. So you have Android application, Monogame cross-platform desktop application, OpenGL, which we're going to do, Monogame iPhone and iPad application, Monogame Windows Universal application, Monogame Windows Universal application, and Monogame Windows Desktop application, Monogame Net Standard Library, Pipeline Extension, shared library pipeline, shared library project. So you can do a lot of things, but the most important one is this one. Click next. I'll just call it my game, my mono game. Okay, create it, boom. See, and you can export to Mac, Linux, Windows, all that. Cross-platform. All right, and let's see. What do we have here? Game one. That's yes. So perfect. It's already basically set up for us. We have the graphics. We have um, base initialize the sprite batch stuff. So you can import all those uh, sprites. There is a let's see a content pipeline. I know that this guy. Yes. So you'd put all of your content and it would just sit in here and then you just pull it out into the game uh, right here. The sprite batch. And if gamepad, so this is your uh, gamepad controls, if you're going to have a gamepad. I don't know if you have to do keyboard here as well. I'm still very new to mono game. It's the first time installing it, but we're going to work through this and figure it out. And then, yeah, if you, uh, your draw, draw method right here. So you have five methods. The first one is your actual game where it has all of your main content in it. And then you have the initialize method, load content method your update method, and also the draw method. This is where everything happens and it pulls it up into this method. And this is where all the actual stuff happens because this is what runs. I also found the main program and this is where the actual game will run. So game.run because game is just the main method for all of the stuff that's controlling it, which are these. It's very staircase-like, like all of this and then its own thing. Each <clears throat> each step has its own information, and it all is in this. 
Uh, it's all in game. It's just like boom. This is basically that's everything. This is literally C sharp. This is what I've been working in. I've been learning C sharp for the past two months now. I was learning C plus plus before that, but it was just so much, and I wanted to get into Unity and other stuff. And now Mono Game has opened my eyes to the code that I've been learning. So I'm very excited to get started with something. My first plan is something with race cars, a race car track, something top down, definitely. And from there, I'll go on. Maybe I'll create a whole racetrack area where you can walk around and select your car and have a whole character selection as well. Kind of make it more Forza like. But other than that, I am very excited to get my project started. I am very excited to code and I hope that you'll join me along with me on that journey. And maybe you'll learn something too. So if you did enjoy, please drop a like. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.